Good afternoon, good evening, family, and welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house where we talk about our mental issues with me, your host, Khadija. I still, I want to shout out Charlemagne the God and uh, Taraji P. Henson. Those are our uh, folks here on the uh, national and on the main level that want to talk about mental health and anybody out here that's trying to talk about it, I really want, I really appreciate y'all. And whether you have a huge platform or you have a small platform like mine, it, it doesn't matter. The word has got to get out that we got to deal with our stinking thinking. And you know, we just left a madman in the house. We just let the madman out uh, the White House. And uh, so now whether your narcissist is in the White House or whether he's living in the house with you, we have to begin to have the conversations about um, our stinking thinking. So I appreciate each and every one of you who have um, tuned in today. And uh, uh, I want to do a little housekeeping for you. Um First thing I want to do is I'm I'm hoping just to interact with you guys a little bit more. So when you make a comment, you know, let's talk about. Tell me, uh, uh, um, you know, what are where are you from? What are some of the things that's happening in your town that you see is addressing or is magnifying the mental health issues? Are y'all having a lot of in mental? health issues that you are aware of, where you live at, what you see every day, and it seems like it's just being passed off as normal behavior. Anybody out there bear witness to what I'm saying? I want to know what's going on in in, in, in your neck of the woods, as uh, the dude said. Let me know uh, uh, when you, uh, if you when you make a comment. Uh, please tell me if you having these type of mental health issues where people just wilding out, um, you go to the healthcare system, you try to get a job. I was just talking to somebody the other day where uh, 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 the people in the healthcare system is just acting all uh, uh, funky and, 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 and nasty. It's just that we have gotten out of a situation with a person that was in control that was so mean and hateful. That the residue, that the uh, uh, what you call it, the residue of the relationship that we had with this president is spilling all out into our everyday lives. I mean, and it's ridiculous. You walk into people in the store, you go into the CVS pharmacy, and the people got attitudes. They don't want to wait on you, or in this case, the lady want to wait on the older white gentleman um, before she waits. On my friend, which caused my friend to go off, of course, uh, because it's like, come on, we're not getting ready to go for this. Y'all, y'all ain't getting ready to do this. And she and I had to stop it. She's like, don't let Donald Trump get your ass whooped. He ain't president no more. Come on, you. But you know what, y'all, y'all just want to be hateful. That's why it's making me think that there's a mechanism in you. Well, it, it's something to be taught to hate somebody. You would be thinking that black people would have been taught to hate y'all after everything y'all done done to us. You would have think that we would have brought our babies up out of the womb. But things is changing. <laughs> but, you know, and it's sad. Because nobody wins in war. And I truly believe that love is stronger than hate. I might be the only one still that believe that. Love is stronger than hate. You got here. <laughs> Because somebody loves somebody, all right? Or somebody made the act of love, right? Or the act 
of closeness and um, um, the act of being intimate. I think it's the strongest force um, on the universe. But that's not the. Oh, uh, uh, that's enough for that. Okay, so um, y'all hit me up. Like I said, I'm doing a little housekeeping. The Mental House TV at gmail.com. Again, that's the Mental House TV at g- gmail.com. Um, hit me up. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me some content that you would love to see. But um, today we're going to talk about this because it's very important that y'all know today is a special day. As you guys know, I've just deal with this. Um, I have been dealing with this. Um, actually, uh, wow. For the last two years, I can say, um, I have been dealing with um, um, I've been just dealing with these issues. And so a lot of people don't know what today. Today is a special day. It, it really is. It's a special day. Um, for those of y'all who know, um, it's all, it's, it's, it's the day that, I think it's National Alzheimer's Day. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Y'all, hell, I act like I got the damn Alzheimer's on it. Well, as y'all know, uh, my mom is suffering from Alzheimer's right now. And it's one of the most difficult things that I've, I've gone through. Um, my father um, just passed. A lot of y'all um, have asked me about my father. And I haven't been able to do a video yet because it's still too painful. Um, I'm, I'm not able to talk about it right now. As, you, as a lot of y'all know, I lost my brother and I lost my father. And I'm dealing with my mother who now is, um, really deteriorating. And today is World Alzheimer's Day. So, today you really have a chance to be part of something big. The World Alzheimer's Day Challenge, um, Actually, it's the $200,000 match challenge. Of course, I don't have that. For just a few more hours, whatever you can give, um, you can have a double impact to fight against Alzheimer's disease. Uh, a generous donor who wishes to remain anonymous has pledged to match all gifts made until midnight tonight up to 200000 an amazing opportunity that can only happen if we raise that same amount by midnight. Their extraordinary gift will help advance promising Alzheimer's research while yours can have two times the impact on helping us provide care and support and advance the critical research. So I gave eight and double it on this day, people all over the world come together to shine a global spotlight on the harsh reality of Alzheimer's. I'm going to get through this, y'all. Our most underrecognized public health crisis that will cost our nation $355 billion this year alone. By joining us, you can become part of the vast community of people with common goal to defeat this devastating illness. Okay. So 16 can become 32, um, 30 can become 60, 50 can become 100. So uh, there's no better time for you to support the efforts than right now. While you, your first gift can go twice as far to furthering the mission of the Alzheimer's Association. Uh, to lead the way and to end Alzheimer's for once and for all and all other dementia. By accelerating global research, driving risk education and early detection, and maximizing quality care and support, we can beat this damn thing. With your help, we can keep pursuing the cutting-edge research that could one day lead to a cure. We can continue providing direct support for the millions affected by Alzheimer's right now through services such as our, 20, our free 24-7 helpline at um, all.org, and we can continue 
our advocacy efforts, urging for policies that increase critical research funding and support all those affected by Alzheimer's. <sighs> don't it, y'all? I know it's easy to put things off, even important things, but don't put this off. This is a once in the opportunity lifetime. Two times the difference and then the urgent public health crisis. I'm hoping that I can count on you to send your best gift now and match while the challenge is still happening. Our vision is a world without Alzheimer's and dementia. Please join me today in bringing that vision closer to reality. On this World Alzheimer's Day, which comes just once a year now, just once a year, I'm, I'm excited to see what our community will accomplish together. Thank you, um, Donna McCullough, Chief Field and Direct, uh, Development Officer. Every day, but especially on World Alzheimer's Day, we're stronger together in the fight to end Alzheimer's. Please help us realize our vision with the, without a, a world without Alzheimer's and all other dementia with a generous donation right now. Your gift remember, will be twice the impact on our vital work. So please don't hesitate. So today is National Alzheimer's Day. I don't know if somebody, anybody out here in the audience got a loved one or hell, you yourself, hell, um, are having, have somebody in your family that is dealing with Alzheimer's. You know how challenging that can be. With that being said, if y'all know anybody, please, let me give y'all the number 1-800-272-3900 or ALZ.org. That's ALZ.org. And that number again is 1-800-272-3900. This is the Alzheimer's Association, you guys. So, on behalf of my mother, on behalf of my father, I thank you for any donation that you can make to the Alzheimer's Association. And may you be blessed and have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'll see you.